Hi, welcome back to RSC Prime Tech channel. Today we are going to see how to install cPanel and detailed cPanel configuration. cPanel is one of the most well-known, most reliable, and easy-to-use control panels for web hosting. It includes a comprehensive range of features in a powerful graphical user interface which is used to manage all shared, reseller, and business hosting services and resources. Web Host Manager, WHM, is the administrator version of cPanel, providing full router reseller access and a range of administrative features not present in the user-level cPanel installation. cPanel is the user-level version of the software allowing access to web hosting account features and controls. Before you install cPanel and WHM you will require the following prerequisites. 1. A clean fresh minimal installation of CentOS 7 server. 2. Minimum of 1 GB RAM, but 2 GB recommended. 3. At least 20 GB of free disk space, but 40 GB recommended. 4. A valid cPanel license. 5. Standard hostname, FQDN or fully qualified domain name. 6. Perl. These should be provided to you by your web hosting provider after ordering your plans. Installing cPanel on dedicated server or VPS. Connect your server using PuTTY. Next step to install cPanel is to ensure that you have a fully qualified domain name, FQDN, set to your dedicated server or VPS. If you need to set it, you can use the following command. cPanel is written in the Perl programming language therefore we must ensure that we have Perl installed on the server by running the following command, yum install Perl. To make our lives easier we will be using an auto installer script which requires the curl command to download it. Installing the curl command can be done with the following, yum install curl. We can now install latest version of the cPanel to our server from the official repository. Go to Seek Panel website get installation command and run. This process will take 40 to 50 minutes.
Now that the installation script is completed, we can access the WHM login screen by navigating to the server IP followed by 2087 in your browser. You should then be presented with the WHM login screen, where you should enter your root login details for the server. After you've logged in, you'll be presented with a license agreement screen like the following, click agree to all to proceed on to the next page. You'll now be prompted to enter your contact details such as your administrator email address. You'll also be prompted to enter your NAMA servers, which you can fill in at this point, or skip it, and fill it in later on. Congratulations, you now have access to WHM control panel. Once logged in successfully you should see a dashboard screen like the following, this is the home screen for the WHM control panel, where you can access all the features of the cPanel server, click explore all features, to show a sidebar with all the WHM features. Next we want to click customize name servers, and then the basic config tab which will bring us to the following page. Here you need to enter the details of the Ethernet device to use to connect the server to the internet, this should be provided by your web hosting provider. Finally, we want to navigate to the contact information tab, where you should see the following. Here you should enter any contact details, that you haven't already added, and also any name server information, that you may have skipped from earlier. To change root password, go to server configuration, click change root password menu. Enter the new password and new root password, and confirm password fields, you may use built-in password generator option, to create a strong password. Once done, click the change password button. Initial quote setup. Disk quotas will help you to track disk usage on a per-user basis and enforce the space limits you give each account. Quotas should have been enabled during the initial setup process. You only need to perform the steps in this tutorial if quotas weren't enabled then. Most VPS and some dedicated servers will need quotas enabled at the operating system level before they can be set up in WHM. The initial quota setup interface scans your server to confirm that it uses disk quotas on the directories in which your panel users store their files. This quota will not affect to MISQL databases. You can follow the steps to enable initial quota. Navigate to initial quota setup under server configuration. You will get a warning like warning, enabling quotas on a machine that does not have kernel support for quotas may result in an unbootable system. This should only happen if you have compiled a custom kernel on your machine without quota support. Proceed at your own risk. If your kernel does not support quotas, then the problem can occur. Since your server was probably set with quota enabled, it should be safe to continue. Click proceed to continue. It will take a while to complete the disk scan and quota setup. After completing the process, you can reboot server and confirm. That's all, now disk quota will be enabled for you. This will further help you in keeping track of the hard drive and its usage. <music> server time. To set the time zone on your server, perform the following steps. Select the appropriate time zone from the menu. Click change time zone. Reboot the server to ensure that the time change is consistent throughout the server. The system reboot interface will allow you to reboot the server. Tweak Settings. WHM Tweak Settings section is where you will find many options for your cPanel server. Go to Server Configuration, then click Tweak Settings. Here you will have some tabs, Compression, Security, PHP etc. Modify the options you want and click the Save button. Notice that you can search for specific settings via the Find box. Turn off Mailman. Turn off Boxtrapper Spam Trap. You can configure the automatic updates through WHM, go to Server Configuration section. Click on Update Preferences. You can configure the updates from this page. There are four kinds of releases available for cPanel and WHM. You can verify the version in the top right corner. Stable. Tested and very stable release of cPanel updates. 
Select stable updates if you wish to take least risk on updation. Release. Release is newer to stable and will contains newer bug fixes and has undergone pre-release testing. Current, this is the newest release of cPanel software. It has undergone some testing, but no stability can be guaranteed. Edge, this is the newest release of cPanel software. It might not have undergone testing. You can select your preferred cPanel release and click save button. Hostname setup. To change your hostname, perform the following steps. Navigate to change hostname under networking setup. Enter the new hostname into the new hostname text box. Remember, you must use a fully qualified domain name as your new hostname. Your new hostname should also resolve to the server's main IP address. Click change. A pop-up window will appear that confirms the hostname change is in progress. After the system changes your hostname, scroll to the bottom of the interface and click add an A entry for your hostname. Review the information about your server and, if it is correct, click add entry. The system will automatically configure the new hostname and add the correct A entry. Hostname Auto SSL. Navigate to Manage Service SSL Certificates under Service Configuration. Click on the reset link to remove the existing certificate and replace it with a self-signed certificate. In order to install the free hostname certificate use the following steps. Log in to the server via SSH or terminal as the root user. Type the following command and enter. Now open your hostname URL in browser check SSL certificate. Installing Let's Encrypt SSL plugin. In WHM. The Manage Auto SSL interface allows the management of the Auto SSL feature, which automatically installs domain validated SSL certificates. In the Auto SSL feature, the Let's Encrypt plugin allows retrieving certificates from the Let's Encrypt provider. By default, the Let's Encrypt plugin will not be enabled in WHM, and only the cPanel's default provider will be present as shown. The below steps can be followed to install the Let's Encrypt plugin first in WHM. Execute the below command from the server command prompt. After successful installation, navigate to the Manage Auto SSL that is under the SSL TLS section and select the Let's Encrypt option under the Providers tab. Once the Let's Encrypt option is selected, the Terms of Service section will be shown. Once this is done, select the I agree to these Terms of Service option and then click on Save. Once it is saved successfully, a prompt will be displayed notifying that the Auto SSL has been configured to use the Let's Encrypt provider. And set as the default provider on WHM, it will provide all future SSL and wildcard SSL certificates. To install a PHP extension in WHM, you may follow these steps. Navigate to Easy Apache 4 under Software section, or search Easy Apache 4. Click Customize under Currently Installed Packages. Click PHP Extensions. Use the search bar to search for the extension you need to install. Example, Zip. Mark the extension for installation by clicking the switch icon to the far right of the extension. Do this for the version of PHP you need the PHP extension for. 
Click Next. Next. Review the output to ensure the PHP extension you marked for installation will be installed. Click Provision, which will install the selected PHP extensions. That's all. Now you successfully installed zip extension for PHP. IonCube was introduced in 2002 by IonCube Limited and is a software that allows you to protect your PHP scripts. There are many commercial scripts that are encoded with IonCube. To be able to run PHP files encoded by IonCube you will need to install the IonCube loaders. These loaders are freely available. Notice that you must install separate loaders for each PHP version you have an Easy Apache. Search Easy Apache 4 in left column. On the Currently Installed Packages section, click the Customize button. On the left menu, go to PHP Extensions and search the IonCube that you want to install. Go to Review to see the changes that will be applied and click the Provision button to apply them. The new IonCube loader will be installed successfully. Softaculous is available as a free to premium auto installer. The premium auto installer is available for low price. Free license Softaculous includes 55 scripts, whereas premium includes 410 scripts. Before starting the installation make sure IonCube loaders are enabled. Get Softaculous install command from Softaculous site and install using PuTTY. To check installation, go to your WHM interface. Click Softaculous, Instant Installs under Plugin section. The following web page will open if the installation was successful. If you want any clarification, please post your question in comment section. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please press like button. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for never miss an update.